so today we are in a different setting, we are in my kitchen as I am going to be making some savoury pancakes. Now tomorrow is pancake day so I thought why not, it'll be a laugh and we can make some pancakes together. Now I actually don't like sweet pancakes very much, I'm much more of a savoury sort of person so I am going to be making ham and cheese pancakes but they will be vegetarian ham and I will link below the recipe that I will be following for this video but yeah I thought I'd do something different because it is pancake day tomorrow which I'm very excited about and yeah let's just make pancakes. I hope it goes better than my last pancake video, I'll link that up here but yeah it was a bit of a travesty so fingers crossed. So here we have all the ingredients for the pancakes, so we've got plain flour, one egg, semi-skimmed milk, vegetable oil, I can't believe it's not butter because it was the cheapest one to get, 50% less fat cheddar cheese, and corn vegetarian ham slices. And we are using my kitchen scales that I use for absolutely everything. So we have my bowl here and we are going to start with the plain flour and with this we need 100 grams. There we go. And to this we have to add half a teaspoon of salt. So we've moved that to the back and now we have to mix together our wet ingredients. So we have to mix the egg, milk and oil. So we need 200 ml of the milk. We need half a tablespoon of the vegetable oil. Yum. <laughs> and the egg. Let's hope I can do this first try. Oh, bit of a slash, but that'll do. So next we take the wet ingredients and we mix them with the dry ingredients. A very bent whisk. You can see this in my baking haul video if you so wish. So I'm going to just add, actually what I'm going to do is mix it up in here first, just to break the egg apart and make sure that's all combined. It didn't say to do this, but I feel just adding a whole egg would be a bit weird. And now I'm going to pour part into here. So that's about half and I'm going to mix that first. This way then means that it won't get too wet. And now the other half and mix that all together. See, and now it's like really wet, so it's like, ah. But it's starting to look like batter. Batter for the pancakes. And now what we have to do somehow is transfer this into the jug. I might do that off camera to see if I can actually do it. Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working, nice. And there's our pancake batter. Woo! So while I had a quick break, I grated the cheese or cubed it because it got a little small to actually grate. I chopped up the veggie ham and I've got a knob of butter on the fork, on the fork, on the knife here that has to be added, added into the pancakes when you add the ham and cheese for some reason. We are now moving over to here to the pièce de résistance, that is the pan. I have it on a medium heat because the Recipe said gentle, whatever that means. Um, and so we are going to cook the pancakes once it's heated up a bit. So the oil is starting to fizzle a bit, so I think we're ready for the pancake. I won't lie, I'm really nervous about this part because like, what if it goes wrong? But we shall try, so we just need a thin layer of, I don't know if that's too much, there we go, that'll do, of the pancake mix. I might have added a bit too much oil, but, we shall deal with that and we let this cook for uno minute. <laughs> One minute. But I am slightly concerned I add too much oil to it, but we are starting to pancake. Hurrah! I feel I should flip it. I'm eating a fruit pasta <laughs> because I'm such a Nigella, but I do feel like I should flip it. Should we try and flip it? We like your like your part of this. You're like I want no part of this mess. I want to flip it, but I'm scared. I'm going to turn the heat down a bit just while I rack up the nerve to flip. 
Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I can't do it. I'm scared. <laughs> If you like this video, I'll flip it. <laughs> YouTube tactics, yes. Oh, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. It's scare break, it's scare break. Holy moly. Oh my God, oh my God, I did it, I did it, I did it. I flipped it, I flipped it. It looks like a pancake, doesn't it? I think so. I think it looks like a pancake. Does that look like a pancake? It looks like a pancake. So now what we need to do while the other half is cooking is we get our knob of butter, cheeky, and we put it on half. Cool, that melts quick. I'm gonna put it on this half actually because that half looks more stable and like our economy. So we now have that butter on half of the pancake for some reason. I don't know why we have to add butter, but that's what the recipe called for. And I'm going to get some pieces of ham and just sprinkle that on this side. The only issue of cutting up ham in the way that I have is it all sits on top of each other so you end up with like a lot of layers and no offence but I'm not an ogre. And then I'm going to get a handful of cheese and just sprinkle that on top. I'm going to get a bit of pepper because the recipe called for a bit of pepper. So I've just got this standard pepper and I'm just gonna on top. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I'm happy with that. And now we need to flip this half onto this half, if I can. <laughs> just do it in two halves, there we go. You'd want this in a French restaurant, wouldn't ya? Delicious. Squish it down like an omelet. And I'm just going to let that melt for a bit and then we'll get off and put it on a plate. It does look a bit anemic, doesn't it? Just a bit anemic. I think it should be tasty though. Like with this, you could add some herbs, you could add some chili flakes if you so desired. You could add whatever you want, really. It's all tasty. I think I grated too much cheese and ham. If anyone wants any cheese and ham, pop by. That's looking melty, which is good. That's what we like to see, some melty meltiness. Yum. I do have enough for another pancake, so I might make another one in a bit. We shall see how I feel. And how this one turns out, and if I get salmonella from it. But yeah, if you want, I'll talk to you later because you can't see me. So I'm gonna take this off now because it looks done. I've got my plate. Ready and prepared. Oh dear God, oh dear God. Ah, and there we go, yes. And here we have our delicious looking pancake. I use delicious loosely. But yeah, here's our pancake and I'm going to go try it. All right guys, so I am back and here is the finished pancake. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit sad, doesn't it? Should I add some herbs on top? Do you think herbs will help? As the finest mixed herbs. Yay! <laughs> so this is the pancake, it's ham and cheese. The recipe does say a cheese that I can't pronounce, I'll put it here, but I use cheddar because it's cheddar. So yeah, now we're going to eat it and see if it's any good. <laughs> I'm no good at these sorts of videos, am I? But I'm having the most fun. Such fun! <laughs> Let's talk in, as Blue Hand Man says. <laughs> this is gonna be a big bite. Um, as Blue Van Man says, let's tuck in. Don't think I can get that all in my mouth. Oh, it's hot. Despite the lipstick on it, it's not too bad. I won't lie to you, for a person who doesn't like pancakes and who made an absolutely atrocious one during uni, this one tastes nice. <laughs> I think I used mozzarella in the uni one, that could have been quite a good idea, but this, 
actually tastes good. <laughs> and that's me making it. And I don't do things like this. Like I can chop up veg and I can chuck rice in a bowl and boil it. But making things from scratch isn't really my thing. And despite wanting to do a whole Shona Bakes channel, so that works. But yeah, this may not have been the best like video, I don't know. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> like it if you did. Please don't dislike it, that's my ego. Um, but yeah, this was actually a really nice pancake. I am going to finish it off camera because I think it's a bit weird eating on camera. Um, but no, if you're looking for something different, something that's not your normal lemon and sugar pancake, something that maybe... I don't know what people do for pancake day because I never really celebrated it, but if you're having a breakfast pancake, you could make like a savoury one, like sausage and mushroom could be quite nice. Or you could do your normal sweet one for lunch, you could do like a ham and cheese or whatever, that could be yummy. Like, instead of like a sandwich, you have a pancake because people are working from home at the moment. And again, for dinner, you can like do whatever you want. But yeah, if you're looking for something that's a bit different, that is Shona approved. Because I'm the master of all cooks. Can you imagine? But yeah, <laughs> this is really good. I am going to finish it off camera, as I just said. I do remember that I did put mozzarella, I believe, I could be wrong, in my original pancake video. So that one was a complete fail, but that was really tasty as well. So I think if you want to use actual ham instead of veggie ham, different types of cheeses, you could put some smoked in there for a different taste, like all that sort of thing. It would be really tasty, really nice. And yeah, it's just a really, really good, simple, pancake because if I can make it anyone can make it so yeah I hope you have an absolutely fantastic pancake day whatever you're doing if you actually do pancake day or not um yeah <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoy please give this video a like if you did <laughs> I'm losing my mind please give this video a like if you did like for sad pancake and I hope to god I see you next time I promise it won't be another food video but yeah, like for some pancake. Bye. Christ. Who am I? Or what am I doing?